Good evening, disc golfers, and welcome to the 2021 Moccasin Lake Open Virtual Players Meeting. I'd like to start by introducing myself for the ones who don't know me. My name is Alyssa Backus, and I'm this year's tournament director for the Moccasin Lake Open. This is the 30th year that the Tampa Bay Disc Sports Club, along with an amazing sponsor, has brought to you one of the best tournaments in the Tampa Bay area. This year's tournament is brought to you by Sun King Discs. This virtual players meeting will cover tournament schedules and procedures, course layouts, the check-in, course rules, awards, payouts, and the raffle procedures. If you do need to rewatch a section, timestamps will be added in the description in YouTube for your convenience. This year's tournament, as in years past, will be on two weekends. November 6th and 7th will be AM weekend, and November 13th and 14th are Pro weekend. For this year's tournament, we will be continuing to use a revised layout. AM weekend will play two rounds, two days. Each round, we will be utilizing tee times. Tee times will be posted no later than the day before on the PDGA website. Cards will be randomly assigned the first round. On the second round on Sunday, cards will be organized by your score. AM players will be playing Cliff Stevens' extended 24-hole layout. That will include Cliff's original 18-hole layout minus hole 13, which is replaced by 13B, which is located directly across the street, as well as the six holes that follow hole 16 in the back. Now, Pro Weekend, players will be playing three rounds in two days. Day one will be two rounds of the original 18 minus hole 13 again. Then on Sunday, most divisions will be playing the final round from the gold layout. For the divisions not playing the gold layout, you will be playing the original 18 again minus 13. Tee times will be utilized for both days. Pro players will play their first round and be allowed about two hours for lunch. You will then return and play your second round with the same card mates. On Sunday, cards will be rearranged by scores and tee times will be assigned accordingly. The check-in process will go as followed. Competitors will be assigned tee times electronically the day before the tournament. We encourage you not to show up more than 30 minutes before your expected tee time. When you show up, please come to Tournament Central and check in. AMS, you will be receiving an awesome player pack. So when you get there, come up, you will get two discs, a tacky sack, and some other special surprises. After you check in, please meet at hole one prior to your tea time. You will be briefed on the rules and expectations for this year's MLO. Players will be keeping score via the PDGA Live Scoring. We do ask another player to keep the paper card. After your round is completed, you may leave the park. Scores and tea times will be posted on the PDGA website later for the next day. Now it's time to discuss the course rules and OBs. The course rules will be the same for each weekend. There is no two meter rule in effect. Now let's go to Tim to see how technical we're going to be on these OBs. For hole one, out of bounds is water long and to the right of the basket 
and beyond the railroad tracks to the left. Hole two, the parking lot and beyond. Hole three, water is going to be the only out of bound. Hole four, water to the left and beyond the sidewalk on the right. Hole five, six, seven, and eight, any of the water is going to be OB for all these holes. Hole number nine, water, parking lot, and as well as the concrete area and beyond to the left. Hole number 10, water and beyond the OB painted line on 18. Any disc that goes into the fenced area is casual OB. You play your lie no closer to the basket. Hole number 11, water is OB for 11 as well as beyond the sidewalk behind the basket. If water is in the creek in front of the basket, it is casual OB. You take relief no closer to the basket. On the sidewalk is in bounds. On hole 12, Water and beyond the painted line on the pier is OB. Now, for pro weekend, the gold layout that some of you will be playing on Sunday, the road and beyond is OB once you get closer to the basket, as well as we will have a painted line beyond the basket that will be OB. Hole 13B, water to the right, and the road is OB. The road does not include the gutters. Hole number 14, water to the right and beyond the road to the left. Hole number 15, water to the left and beyond the railroad tracks to the right. Hole number 16, this is for AM weekend only right now. If you're playing from the long pad, and you do not cross land, you are OB and you will move to the short path. That is the drop zone. There will also be OB lines painted on the water's edge and at the peninsula. The island and the peninsula are OB as well as the railroad and beyond to the right. Now, pro weekend. What changes about this is for the long path. If you do not cross land, you continue to re until you cross land. For the gold layout, if you do not cross land, you do move to the short pad. So, am weekend, short pad, drop zone. Pro weekend, no drop zone, gold, drop zone. Any questions, make sure you message me. Hole number 17, water to the left and beyond. Hole number 18, water to the left and beyond. Hole number 19 is the water to the left and in front of the basket. Hole number 20, water in the creek to the left. Hole number 21, concrete wall and beyond ROB. Beyond the sidewalk long of the basket is OB. Hole number 22, railroad tracks and beyond to the left. Hole number 23, railroad tracks and beyond to the left. Beyond the sidewalk to the right is OB. Hole number 18, the painted line to the left and the water to the right. Any disc that goes into the fenced area will be played as casual OB with relief no closer to the basket. Road and beyond of the basket is OB. Now, for the gold layout for Sunday Pro Weekend. You will have a Mando on the tree. You must make that Mando. If you do not make the Mando, you will move to the short pad. Now, let's talk about the awards and payouts. 
and players who make the cut as far as receiving a payout will receive a voucher for Sun King Discs. For pro players, you have the option of PayPal or Cash Day Up. As divisions complete their rounds, payouts will be handed out accordingly. Now time for the raffles! Okay, so this year we have some awesome raffle prizes. I know I say that every year, but this is super awesome this year. Some of our raffle prizes include the one and only Zuka card, bags, we have a couple of them, ranging in all different sizes, tons and tons of discs. And when I say discs, I mean collectors, cool stamps, cool dies, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, something for everyone. And then I have some tricks up my sleeve with some extra surprises for this raffle because, you know, it's my favorite. Tickets will be sold digitally and in person at the tournament. The raffle will be held on Facebook Live Monday following the tournament each weekend. There are two raffles, so make sure you get in both of them. You can now contact me on Facebook, email, or in person about buying raffle tickets. We are so excited to bring you the MLO again this year. I'd like to thank our sponsors that support us from year to year, the players who continue to sign up, and the volunteers for their continued support. You guys are awesome, and without you, the MLO would not be able to have been ran for the past 30 years. Thank you to everyone that is involved. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys out on the course this weekend. Bye. Well, then I'm just gonna... Ugh, ugh.